Hello all. In this video, let's uh, try and solve a system of linear equation. So the system that we shall solve today is this. x minus 3y plus z is equal to 4 minus x plus 2y minus 5z is equal to 3 5x minus 13y plus 13z is equal to 8. So if we write this system in the matrix form, that is in the form Ax is equal to B, we get the coefficient matrix that will be 1, minus 3, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 5, 5, minus 13, 13. Into the matrix of unknowns that is x, y, z is equal to the right hand side vector which is 4, 3, 8. So to solve this system of uh, linear equations, let's first write the augmented matrix that is the matrix whose entries are the mat uh, entries of the matrix A along with the right hand side vector. So that is 1, minus 3, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 5, 5, minus 13, 13 along with the right hand vector B that is 4, 3, 8. So we will reduce this to the row echelon form and try to find the solution to the system of equation. So the first entry is already 1. So there is nothing that needs to be done with the first row. So we need to make this entry and this entry 0 now. So for that what we do is R2 shall be replaced with R2 plus R1 and R3 shall be replaced with R3 minus 5 R1. The first row remains as it is. The second row is you just have to add it to the first row. So minus 1 plus 1 0, 2 minus 3 minus 1, minus 5 plus 1 minus 4 and then 3 plus 4 7. The last row is last row minus 5 times first row. So 5 minus 5 is 0, minus 13 plus 15 that is 2, 13 minus 5 that is 8. 8 minus 20 that is minus 12. So yeah next uh, we need to make this entry 1 so we will just multiply the second row with minus 1. So the new second row will be minus old second row. So 1 minus 3 1 4 first row remains as it is second row we multiply it throughout by minus 1. So 0 1 4 minus 7 and the last row, we can in fact divide the last row by 2. So let me just do that. It is not necessary but uh, we can do that. It does not create any problem. So 0, 1, 4 and then minus 6. Yeah, so the next operation that we do is to make this entry 0. For that what we do is R3 is replaced with R3 minus R2. So that gives 1 minus 3, 1 and then 4. The first row remains as it is. Second row also remains as it is. The last row is last row minus second row. So 0 minus 0, 1 minus 1, 4 minus 4, minus 6 plus 7 that is 1. So now this is our reduced system. So the system that we have is x minus 3y plus z is equal to 4 and then y plus 4z is equal to minus 7 and in the last row what we have is 0 is equal to 1. This is absurd. This is not possible. So which means that this system does not have a solution. No solution. So if this system does not have a solution, it means that the original system that we started with also has no solution. So we can check this uh, geometrically by using GeoGebra. So I have plotted the three equations on GeoGebra. So the equation, the plane corresponding to the first equation is this, the second one is this and the third is the pink plane. So uh, you can actually see that these three planes do not intersect at a common point. It is a little difficult to see but uh, we can see that these planes do not intersect at uh, a common point. So uh, yeah, from this point of view, I think it's perfectly seen. 
so i have also plotted the line of intersection of planes 1 and 2 so it is the blue line and we can see that it never intersects the pink plane that is the plane corresponding to equation 3 so yeah from this point of view it's perfectly seen that uh, this line that is in the intersection of these two planes does not intersect the third plane at any point so this system of equations do not have a solution thank you